Kitakubu. Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So welcome back to another Fates uh, Grand Order news, Type Moon news, Fates Day Night news. It's Type Moon news basically because um, you know not really Fate Grand Order here, but we are going to be talking about the upcoming highly anticipated light novel spin-off adaptation of Fates Day Night, the upcoming Fate Lost. I, I'm, I'm butchering that, I know. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to my comfort zone and just pronounce it in Japanese. Ain Hediaru. So, uh, Fate Lost Ain Hediaru is gonna be releasing on the 31st of December. Uh, fortunate for me, I'm actually gonna be in Japan. Uh, so, that means it's gonna be releasing at Kamiket, basically. I'm debating if I wanna go to Kamiket because uh, I've been to Kamiket before and I just did not like the crowd. I thought the crowd was just insane. And um, I don't know if I wanna bring my girlfriend there because we're gonna be hanging out in Japan because she lives over there. Uh, so, I'm debating right now. But I do know for sure this novel will be released in bookstores. So, I can just buy it at a bookstore. But if I want to really buy like Dojin Shees and stuff like that, I could go to Kamiket, but I can also go to Dojin stores in Japan as well because usually they will have it in the stores after Kamiket. But um, yeah, this is uh, again, uh, we're going to be talking about Fate, Lost, I Inherit. Sorry, I, I kind of, you know, got off topic there. But uh, we're going to be uh, talking about uh, this upcoming novel, and uh, they actually released a preview to uh, the upcoming uh, novel as well but um, I want to talk about this a little bit we already know this you know shot uh, was revealed already the image was revealed already but uh, just looking at Aslog's uh, design very sexy very skimpy but uh, kind of like Fate Grand Order she does have different designs so it's kind of like an ascension there but we do also know that she has the power of flight because you know Valkyrie but uh, yeah this is um, really cool I love this artwork Miwa Shido one of my favorite uh, character designers when it comes to manga so so yeah, this is just an awesome, awesome art piece of artwork. I would definitely buy a frame uh, version of this. But going down here, so uh, we have this preview here. But before we get into the preview, I do want to talk about this. Um, I do know a lot of people are kind of skeptical when it comes to this uh, upcoming spinoff because uh, Sakura Hikaru obviously wrote um, Fate Prototype. And not a lot of people were a fan of it. They thought she kind of butchered it. But I do believe uh, this novel will definitely be good because uh, you have Miwashiro. Uh, Miwashiro, obviously an artist, but also writes stories too. I mean, he wrote a lot of different uh, mangas. Um, so I do think you have uh, him supporting Sakurai. So you can have a, a good story there and then plus not only that Nasu is there as well so I'm pretty sure Nasu has heard the reviews of you know prototype so you, you get what I mean but let's go ahead and check out this preview here because this is something really really cool so of course we have uh, Aslog um, and there's a lot of uh, wordings here that are really key to the story I mean Vikings obviously we knew it's going to be about Vikings uh, Sigurd Brynhild's daughter Aslog uh, we have um, you know illustrations of uh, the, the servants, the masters. Uh, we also have a keyword, Yugudumedia, uh, which is obviously from Fate Apocrypha. Uh, very cute Oslog there eating dinner. Um, it looks like they're on a train, I think. Oh no, they it might be just be a diner, but like, it looks like it kind of looks like a train a little bit, but I believe it, they're just at a regular diner. Um, the master, obviously, we, we know uh, what her last name is. Um, and then, you know, the wolf. Uh, the servants in action and their like you know actual battle outfits uh, and then we get to see uh, Aslog's other designs again kind of like Fake Grand Order getting accession arts but I think what everyone is very very surprised about is the top left corner uh, Percival is there so who would have thought Percival would be in the story uh, I think this Percival looks amazing a very awesome looking uh, Miwashiro design Percival uh, but the key servant that we're looking at here is obviously that guy in the cape who is this don't know very very excited if it's Odin that'd be crazy because it does say Odin right there in the bottom middle but um, it, it seems like Odin will be in this story which is going to be crazy or at least reference but it's like oh 10 exclamation mark uh, times four so you know uh, maybe odin might appear this is it'd be crazy if odin appears because uh for us fgo fans we've been expecting odin to appear for a while now but um yeah this is 
pretty this is gonna be pretty insane if odin actually appears in this uh novel but um yeah i'm excited to see all the servants in this novel i can't wait to grab my copy when i go to japan and uh man i can't wait for this to get a manga adaptation if it ever does uh, i do believe um this will get a manga adaptation and the reason why i believe that is because well i mean the person drawing this is a manga author and um, very experienced when it comes to manga plus not only that type moon does have a pretty good track record when uh, novels become manga i mean uh you have fate apocrypha novel manga then anime then you got strange fake who no one thought that was going to get a manga adaptation but it did from novel again to manga and then we have uh, lord elamaloy that went from novel to manga as well and of course tv anime so yeah i i do believe we'll get a manga adaptation of this i do believe fate requiem will also get a manga adaptation i think anything fate related will get a manga adaptation uh, eventually if it ever was a novel but uh, I mean Fate Grand Order the game like there's been some manga adaptations right epic uh, epic remnant so uh, yeah it, it's pretty crazy but man I can't wait for a manga adaptation but no I'm super excited about this I can't wait and uh, what do you guys think about like who do you who do you think is gonna appear in this uh, story again we already have Percival and some hidden guy in a cape possibly Odin coming in but dude, this is gonna be one amazing uh, book, I think. So, I mean, again, I do know uh, Sakurai doesn't really have a good track record, but I believe that she'll make a redemption with this one. So, uh, again, super excited. Comment down below and tell me what you guys think. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and also check out my other channels, Kita Games, where I do gameplay videos, as well as my trading card channel, Kita Sean TCG. Links are uh, links are below. <laughs> And I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.